Hey, hey, good morning. What is up? So I just dropped my kid off at school and um, got to pick up our kitty from the vet. I dropped him off yesterday morning. He was getting his manhood taken away from him, so he's getting fixed. So I got to pick him up this morning, but not for another hour. So I'd get me stop by Dunkin' Donuts, get me an iced coffee and some breakfast. But when I pulled up, I was gonna get my usual, but I saw that they have um, sugar plum macchiato. Honestly, I have no idea what a macchiato is, <laughs> but I saw it was something new and thought I'd give it a try. So that's what I'm doing. And I don't know if you can, yeah, I guess so. It looks, it looks kind of purplish there at the bottom. And I guess you stir it up or something. Like I said, I don't know what a macchiato is. So I guess I'm gonna find out here in just a moment. Let's stir it up a little bit. It has a really strong plum taste. Yeah, very strong plum taste. It's not awful. I won't get it again, <laughs> but um, I guess I need to find out what a macchiato is. Um, so whatever a macchiato is, this sugar plum flavoring is really, is really all I'm tasting in this. But it's not horrible, actually. It seems like it's getting better the more I drink on it. And what I got to eat is a... Sausage, egg, and cheese croissant. And I've gotten these several times at the Dunkin'. And sometimes the croissants are overly toasted, almost to a burnt point. But this one's not bad. Um, and the breakfast isn't bad. Um, where all I've ever gotten was the sausage, egg, and cheese croissant. Uh, Tommy has gotten the ham, egg, and cheese. I think maybe even the bacon, egg, and cheese. And he said those are good. So I'm just going to go with their croissant breakfast sandwiches are good. But the old typical sausage, egg, and cheese on a croissant. And like I said, I've had these before and they're pretty good. Just sometimes they can be a the croissant can be a toasted a little too much. But this croissant's pretty good. It's not overly toasted and it's soft and so not too bad. Y'all I'm telling you. I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't, it was I when I first tasted it and then it seemed like it got better. Now I just had another taste. No, it's I. So the plum taste in that is really strong. And I'm not the biggest plum fan, um, but I thought I would give it a try anyway. But it's just all right. So. I am, like I said, I'm going to pick up the kitty from the vet here in just a little bit. Had his manhood taken away from him. And um, I guess a couple weeks ago, 
we were going to do that. And then Tommy decided that not to get him fixed in case we wanted to maybe breed him sometime or another because he's a um, full uh, Persian cat. And um, But then he just got to where he was just constantly meowing and not just the meow. Persians have this weird meow about them and, and he was just so loud and he's just this little kitten but he was so loud and it was constantly so Tommy called the vet to ask them why is he just all of a sudden screaming so much and uh, they said probably because um, he may smell or sense that there's a female cat that's nearby that's outside um, and then he that's just his call to try to attract her or whatever um, and they said you know, once he's fixed that will probably help him keep him from doing that because you know he won't be in the mood to be trying to track down a female so hopefully that fixes fixes a constant screaming from him and um, but also I found out that they do it when they are hungry or looking for attention and he always has food there's always he's either eating his food or the dog food so there's always food so he's not hungry or he's looking for attention so we try to give him attention, but still, he still just cries, so I don't know. I don't know if he just wants maybe having another kitten around for him to play with will help. Because we have two dogs and another cat, and the other cat, who's, I guess she's going on three years old now, she doesn't want to be bothered by him. And the dogs don't either. So... Our dogs are like 11, 12 years old, so they're old. They don't care about playing. Yeah, I don't know about this drink. I don't know if I'm going to finish it or not. It's Now it's getting like, this probably sounds weird, and maybe it's just my taste buds, but it's actually got like a beer aftertaste to it. So, yeah, I don't know if it's going to get better. The more I drink on it, or more I thought it was going to, but now it's just like, I don't know. I wonder if they take this back. They're like, you know what? I don't like this. Can you give me something else? They're probably like, uh, no. So... anyone else has reviewed this sugar plum macchiato let me know what you thought about it because the more I drink on it the more I'm just not liking it so so back to the cap hopefully getting him fixed well, keep his keep him from yelling so much and so loud. So I'm picking him up here in just a little bit. Oh, they gave me two straws. I usually they do that a lot, and I usually just throw it away. But I think I might keep this one. Because sometimes they run out of the big straws for the large drinks, so they give you this little tiny straw, which barely sticks out from the top of the cup. It's a little difficult to try to drink out of something that's just barely sticking out. Just I picked my kid up from school. And he likes um, the McDonald's caramel frapp uh, frappes. 
So he's gotten to where he wants one of those all the time. And, um, which is fine if we're going to McDonald's, but I don't want to just make a special trip to stop by the McDonald's to get him one. But I did yesterday. Um, and, uh, so he got one of those and he wanted to try the, um, holiday pies that McDonald's has, like their apple pies. Last month they had a, um, pumpkin pie one that he tried that he said was good. Excuse me. Um, so he wanted to try the holiday pie one. And, um, it looked like it had like a vanilla custard in it. I was thinking it might be an eggnog custard, but he didn't say it tasted anything like eggnog. But, um, he tried that and he said that, uh, next time we should do a review on it. But I tried to do reviews with him. I and, um, did one review with him, but he said he just thinks it's weird doing a food review with people watching you eat. So, I don't know. Maybe he's changing his mind or something. But, um, which I hope he does, because I want to do more videos with him. I don't know. So, we'll see. I'm sure today when I pick him up from school, he's probably going to want to say something about getting that. But, um, I'm not stopping by and picking up one today. Um, and then the McDonald's we stopped at yesterday was a super long line. And I'm like, why is the line so long at 3.15 in the afternoon? Well, get up to the wind, uh, to the thing to place the order, and we could tell that I think it was a new girl that was working on a uh, drive through and she didn't know the menu, didn't know how to work the stuff, because I had gotten uh, their new Apple fritter, uh, which I guess I should have did a review on that, but I didn't, and it, it was all right, nothing, you definitely could tell it was a fast food, pre-made apple fritter, but anyway, told her I want an apple fritter, she's like, apple pie? And she already rang it up as apple pie. I was like, no, an apple fritter. And then she just was totally confused. Like, an apple fritter? I'm like, no, an apple fritter. It's on your menu. You sell it. That's what I want. So I heard her asking somebody else about it. And so they come up and told her. And then with um, Gavin's drink, his frappe, um, he typically gets a small... But I've noticed lately, when I've said small, they've ended up giving him a medium. And I thought it was just a mistake. But yesterday when I said a small, again, that just totally confused her. Um, I heard her asking somebody else about it, how to ring it up. And then she said that it only comes in a medium or large now. So, anyway, it was just like, no wonder this line is so long, this girl having some issues working the drive through And then we pull up the pair and she just looked terrified. Like a deer in headlights. I mean, she didn't say, thank you, nothing. She just had this like, please help me look on her face. So, yeah, I think she was just new and um, didn't know how to work the drive through I've never worked fast food, so I shouldn't judge her, but, um, I would, I guess my main thing was you should know your menu though. I mean, it's McDonald's, it's fast food. There's not a ton on your menu for you to have to memorize, but, um, yeah, I've never worked fast food, so it's probably harder than what I think it is. But even Gavin said, you know, their stuff is basically pre-made already. Why does it take so long just to give someone their food? It's already made, basically. 
so I'm like, I don't know. That's what I think. Yeah, I'm telling you. To me, it just has a beer aftertaste to it. It's just, it's just getting to where it's just not appealing. My beard is a mess this morning because I just got up out of bed, brushed my teeth, got dressed, take uh, Gavin to school, and this is what my beard looks like early in the mornings or when I get up out of the bed. So it's a little raggedy right now. Um, but I got this new jacket. I like the jacket. And I ordered it um, online, and I put in a 3X, because I'm a big boy. I put in a 3X, and th this is what I hate about buying clothes online, is you never know really what the true size is. If it's, like if you get a, th a 3X, is it going to be a 3X or is it going to be a 2X or if it's going to be just massively big? It just seems like anytime I've ordered anything, clothes online, rarely has it been the exact size. It's either, usually it's smaller than what I wanted, uh, like this jacket. Um, but I, I can't zip it but it's fine, it's, it fits, other than I just can't zip it, um, but I like it, I just wish it was probably a 4X, which I don't know if there was even a 4X, but anyway, it's a cool jacket, um, typically I don't like wearing coach jackets anyway, they're a little too bulky, I feel too confined, which this is making me feel confined, because it's a little snug, Anyway, oh, new hat ordered from the same website, um, which I like the hat. Um, so, yeah, I don't like ordering clothes online because you just don't know for sure the size. So, but I will order from this site again. I'll just know to get it a size bigger. Well, anyway. Enough of me rambling. Our vet is about 30 minutes from where we live. It's going on 8.30 now. So I pick them up after 9 o'clock. So I'm going to hop off of here. Finish my breakfast. Drink a little more of this sugar plum macchiato that I'm just not feeling. I thought it was okay at first. Then it got a little better. Now it's just kind of gross. Yeah. So, anyway, thanks for watching and listen to me ramble. Till next time, you guys have a great day. Thank you.